Hey everybody and welcome! We're back here in Don't Starve once again and I'm actually going to take a break from spotlighting some mods, uh, some modded characters, some custom made characters and we are going to actually play as a character I liked during one of the mod spotlight episodes and his name is Dr. Wave, that's right. We're going to play as him, we're going to take a little bit of a break from checking out custom create characters and we are actually going to play as Dr. Wave. I'm going to try to do a full playthrough of him. Which usually make, you know, makes up of just trying to survive for me <laughs> and just wandering around aimlessly until I eventually die because I suck. But anyways, look at this guy. The runner has super speed ability, fast metabolism. He hits weaker. Very, very, very weak, son of a bitch. He really is. And he's got the fast metabolism we have to watch out for because of the hunger. He gets hungry really quick, so we have to get some kind of farm going right away some kind of food source traps for rabbits and stuff so let's go ahead and apply as him do we want to change the world up a little bit i don't know i really don't we can uh should we start in spring maybe no we should start in i say we should be able to start in autumn right yeah let's go for autumn at uh, a day what can we do with the day anything long night let's make a short night because the nights are really boring uh, we can do only day. That's something. No, uh, let's 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 leave it alone. Can I can I go back to default? Where is it? Okay, default. <laughs> That'd be a shame. Okay, I really I don't think I should mess with any of this to be honest. World size. We can make it large. Make it huge. Let's do that. That sounds fine. Okay, apply. And uh, we made the world huge. That's pretty much all we did. But it's good. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, here we are. We are back in the world. There is Maxwell himself with a cigar or something, whatever. I don't care. Uh, we have our mini-map mod still installed, which is very, very nice. Look, we can pick up this food. We're so quick. Okay, let's pick up these berries. We have to worry about food really, really much. I mean, greatly, greatly worried about food. Food is going to be our main priority for a long, long time. We need to get some kind of farm started or something. Uh, we definitely need to get some traps going. Actually, I want to leave that mini-map up. Look at that. It's wonderful. There's a rabbit here. We need to qu quickly find a spot to actually sit down and make our own. Look, there's, oh, there's a bunch of rabbits here. This actually will probably be a really good spot. Not going to lie. This is going to be the best spot for this character, I think, because he gets hungry super fast. And if we have as many traps as we can put down here, look at all these rabbits. Come on. Yeah, this is a good spot. I think so far we are going to make this our spot. If there, if there are some kind of berries around, some berry bushes just hanging around, that would be very nice too. Because we can get some berries and we can farm for the rabbits. And I think it would be best. Uh, maybe there's some beefalo around here too. We can definitely make some farms, which would be great and help us out a lot. Some speedy farms would definitely make us go very long in the long run here. Let's just go ahead and check out the rest of the area while we can. Oh, look at this place. Oh, shit. Okay, that's bad. <laughs> hey, look, a berry bush, though. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. Take all of this stuff. So we need to worry about making a base camp down there. And we need to make a crock pot and a fridge, an icebox if we can. Those guys do drop gears. That's, that's true. We can kill those guys eventually. But this guy does hit weaker. So that is a bit to worry about, to be honest. Okay, look, we're going to grab as much food as we can, as much resources as we can, chop down some trees, we'll go back down to the starting area. Let me just uncover a little bit more with the map here, so I can actually see what I'm dealing with. We'll grab some more flint while we can see it. And these carrots, look at this, there's so much, there's so much food to be had right here, while we're here. <laughs> it does take a while to grow back though, but that's okay. I think we'll be fine. If we can find some beefalo, that'd be fantastic. That'd be fantastic as well. That would make this spot pretty damn well for this character to start out at. Okay, I think we have enough food for right now. We can just scour the land a little bit more. We can get that rock, and we can make uh, our main base campfire with that. Let's see, uh, what do I need? I need a axe, and I need a pickaxe. Look, we're going to get a pickaxe built. Boosh, perfect. Okay, we can go ahead and get this rock. That way we can make our base campfire and not have to worry about getting rocks as much as we were before but in other series as well I mean but look there's another rock down here it seems oh look there's a couple rocks too bad they're not gold ore inside of them I mean gold ore rocks are pretty awesome look at this boosh chop 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 
My pickaxe is about to be destroyed. I think we need at least 10 or 12 rocks to make a base camp fire. I don't know. We need logs as well, which is our next step. This is how to survive for sure. Don't ever watch me to try and learn how to play this game, though. <laughs> I am absolutely terrible at this game. But look at this. We might as well get this boulder smashed as well. We're going to smash the crap out of it. Look at this. Boosh. I'm grabbing everything. Flint. Look at the resources. Resources are plenty. Okay, we just need to uncover this area a little bit more, I think. The day is very, very long, which is really good. I can't tell. Are we in summer, I think? Maybe? No? Autumn or spring, I think it said. I think we're in spring, most of all. Okay, there's no beefalo as far as I can see. I'm looking at the mini-map as well. There's a turkey back there. I don't want to waste my time trying to chase that guy down because he is a fast motherfucker. <laughs> he sure is. There's more rocks over here in case we need them. Holy crap. This is the gold mine. <laughs> Look at all the rabbits. Oh, this is our spot for sure. And there's berry bushes next to this place. Oh, uh, yeah. There's one. One or two. A bunch of twigs. This is going to be a fantastic spot for us. Look at this. Oh, uh, beautiful. Okay. Before it gets too dark, I'm going to cut down some trees, get some logs, and all that kind of stuff. Make our base camp fire around here. And maybe... Oh, look at that. Sun setting. And uh, maybe we should be good. We should be good. I just want to make sure there's not some kind of crazy monster that lives right over here or something around the corner. <laughs> That'd be pretty bad. I'm also checking for the beeflo. I don't see any more of those as well. Which is very, very sad. I want some beeflo so I can make some farms. We definitely need to make farms. Or we could just live off rabbits and berry bushes. It's quite possible. I should have enough longs for the first night. It's just very, very dark and hard to see, but I think we'll be fine for the moment. There's a, there's the mole there, Mr. Rossetti. Okay, let's plant some trees here. Boosh. Boosh. Make sure our comma, our commas pretty well. Oh, look at this. Holy berry bushes. Okay. I'm getting, I'm getting a bush. <laughs> oh, I'm getting some berries. Look at this. We need to kill this guy though, but he is very weak and I have no armor, so. We got some berries for now. That is good. That is good to know that that's right there. Okay, perfect. Okay, those trees, I know, become crazy monsters during the fall, I believe. I believe it was. Okay, we can go back over here where there was a million rabbits just hanging out here. Look at that. That's amazing. Okay, we can hang down here. It looks like we are in a good spot if anything does attack us in this area. Look, I think we can just mark it out a little bit more before it gets too dark. I think this is going to be a good spot. We're right next to a farm area here or well, the future farm area I'm already planning stuff out we're gonna have a farm over here I think I can sit right here my base my base is going to be right here look at this can we make this yes we can boosh just in time too because it's about to become completely dark okay amazing okay we need to make a science machine next which is uh our main goal we need one gold and one rock actually so we're not too far off we just need to find something a gold, a gold ore vein of a rock. I don't know where that's going to be exactly. I do want to make some traps though. We'll make a couple traps here for the rabbits. That way we have some kind of food source coming in for us. Look, we can make at least four. I think that should be pretty good. Four rabbits? Yeah. That way when we actually have a crock pot, we can, you know, possibly make some really nice meals. Possibly. And uh, speaking about meals... I should probably eat these carrots because I'm going to die. <laughs> this character, if you do not pay attention, his hunger will go down like crazy. It really will. It really will, indeed. I don't know what I want to do with this character in this playthrough. I mean, mainly I try to do something with each character. At least I, I think so, for me. But uh, maybe I should try to go and explore caves or maybe I should try to find Maxwell's door. Uh, finally at last, find all the pieces and get to his door. I don't know, it's a possibility. I could try to do that. I'm starting off from this, uh, character on day one instead of the one I did for the Mod Spotlight because I figured it'd be best to actually just start fresh if I'm going to do a full playthrough in parentheses with, uh, this character. Because it's, it's hard to do a full playthrough with a character because... The days, as far as I know, you can go up to day 5,000 or whatever, I don't know. Something crazy like that, you know what I mean? But, right now I think we're fine. Do I have to put a log on the fire? Are we good? Okay, we're good. Let's put these traps down, 
uh, these traps down immediately because we definitely want to get some food coming to us pretty quickly here. Look at that. I'm not going to bait the traps. I'm going to try to put them right on top of the holes because that's the best. That's the best spot to put them on. Those are a little bit off, but I don't care. It's not going to bother me that much. I think they'll get some rabbits anyways. So here we go. Boosh, boosh. Get some get some main resources, the bare necessities, as I love to call them. Because we are going to need them. We're going to make traps like crazy. Look at this guy. Chop away. Choppy, chop, chop. Okay, perfect. We can plant some trees here. We can have our tree farm this way. It'll be very nice. This is where we will come for trees. And... We don't have to worry about trees all that much, I would say. We're getting everything sorted out. Day 2 style. Look at this. We made a base camp already. We got some tree farming going on. Some tree farming on tree farming action. Look at this. I'm going to plant a row of them. It's going to be awesome. I'm going to be a forester. We'll chop this down. I should probably make a shovel. I do believe I need an alchemy engine to make a shovel, though. So we are going to want to find some gold. That is our, our next step, I think. I think we have uh, plenty of logs. Let me plant these pine cones here. And I should probably open up the map real quick. Okay. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? I'm just joking. Where in the world are some gold ore vein rocks? I can't seem to see any on the map here. Where would they be? I think the best spot to look for is up here maybe? Possibly? Uh, that might be the best spot. I'm not sure though. We can go up there and look. We have some traps placed down for us to get some food. Do I need an alchemy engine? Or a science machine? Sorry, science machine. We need a science machine. Uh, probably. We can get some rocks too while we're at it. Okay, that's okay. Boosh, we're gonna go up there. I think we'll be fine. We have plenty of food on us for the moment. We can go up here and we can look for some gold ore vein rocks. And, oh, I don't chop that down. I mean, I would like to chop that down, but I don't have time. I've gotta find some gold ore. Yes, okay, we're going the right way. I don't know why I checked the map when there's a mini-map in the top right of my screen anyways. There's this pig here. We need to ice this fool. We really do if we want to get these berries. Because it's a good source of food right here for us. And we have the rabbits. I think we're pretty set on food. Watch, in a couple episodes from now, I'm going to be... I'm going to be just dying of hunger because I'm not going to be able to find any food. Okay, does this actually go anywhere good for me? Maybe? Running around is using a lot of our hunger. We gotta use use our hunger very carefully. Well, it loops back around, it looks like. Let's follow the path. Follow the yellow, yellow brick road, even though it's not yellow. Okay, that's not... Let's not follow that road anymore. <laughs> that is a bad road. I do not want to follow that road. Okay, what's down here? Anything? Okay, it's just another uh, nightmare for me over there. That's not good. Let's grab some food while we can. Okay, so let's go back the other way. Look, we just passed uh, base camp again. Oh, look at this. Look, we have a bunch of rabbits here for us. Oh, it's just working out perfectly. Perfect. I don't think we're going to have to worry about rabbits all that much. Except for wintertime. I don't know if there's less rabbits or not. Because it's cold out, you know. And maybe they're just very, very worried of the cold. And they don't want to come out of their holes. It's quite possible. Same with farming. It's going to be a bit difficult to farm if uh, it becomes really cold out because the stuff just won't grow you know it just won't that's why I'm kind of hoping and relying on the rabbits to stay there for me okay we're discovering a huge part of the map here I love that you can just see with the mini map up here where you've discovered it's kind of like a, a mini game in itself to just look around and get all of the area uncovered because it I mean it doesn't bother me or anything but it's just pretty cool to see it's a wormhole there I, don't want to jump in because that's scary as hell. Okay, let's see. Let's grab some more resources while we can while we're on the road. Okay, this is the road to gold. That's right. Follow the road to gold. Oh, look. It is the road to gold. We found some gold. Oh, yeah. Two pieces. Suck on that. Hoo yeah. Perfect. What's up here? Anything else? Any more gold ore? 